<laughs> you know, on a side note, just to add to that and why Vesa Blitz is such a good choice and um I stand corrected. Uh, previously, when we had discussed um, uh, methylene blue, I was I was big on it, and Doctor Seeds educated me on why that's not a good idea. So I think it's really worth talking about, and I think this will really underscore the importance of having a vasa blitz in there and other things to boost nitric oxide. So when you take uh, methylene blue, essentially what you're doing, you recall we talked about those complexes. You're able to, um, it can work as a reducing uh, or an oxidizing agent. So it can kind of hop over those first two complexes. Sounds like a good thing, easier to make energy. Here's the problem. It inhibits way upstream the uh, ability to make nitric oxide. And when we don't have nitric oxide, everything takes a hit. That's going to be our endothelial cells, uh, like our heart. It's going to be our heart, our brain, our muscles. Um, we need to have nitric oxide. So uh, hold up on that methylene blue unless you're recovering from like a COVID or something. I am um, so glad to hear you say this, Anthony. I have been, I've been struggling with this. Uh, everybody on the methylene blue train, I'm like, I just can't get on board with this because of the 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 impact of nitrogen oxide. I'm like, if you want to have that uh, uptake of those photons through life, there's a lot of through light. There's so many other ways to to do that where you've got natural compounds, unlike this chemical uh, methylene blue that comes out of the industrial uh, realm. You know, like I use GHK dish KU. Hey, guess what? It's blue too, by the way. Uh, if you're doing some red light <laughs> therapy, like you'll notice the effects. You'll see your HRV yeah. values come down, all of that. I think that there's other ways to do this. There's times and times and places for that methylene blue, but the methylene blue is the answer. I just think is the wrong approach, which is why, you know, I promote those products that have that, that, uh, the nitrogen, uh, response in them. So yeah, I really, really great to hear you, uh, on track with that this morning. <laughs> no, I, um, again, I stand corrected because I was, when I first learned about methylene blue and I was just looking at the complexes and thinking like, this is efficient. It increases absorption of red light. Who wouldn't want that? But fortunately, Dr. Seeds corrected me on that, and I've been <laughs> standing on my uh, podium and yelling as loud as I can, please stop taking methylene blue, lean on things that are going to improve nitric oxide, like your Vasa Blitz or yeah. citrulline or arginine alpha ketoglutarate. Yeah, well, that's, um, all the, that's all the stuff that's in there. So, yes, <laughs> lean on those. Um and uh, give the GHK uh, uh, dash KU a try before your red light, and let me know what you think. Yeah, I love the thought of using the GHK. That's brilliant. Let's dive into the world of optimizing your overall health. With pushing my physical limits, I encountered significant reductions in my health, and I reached out to Merrick Health as the premier telehealth service. I loved their personalized health coaching from the comfort of my home. They empower you with the choice of self-service diagnostic labs, or what I chose, the guided optimization with expert interpretations of blood work, health coaching, and with medications delivered to my door. Merrick Health is your partner in optimizing your health. Listeners can seize a fantastic 10% discount off their first blood work with code RESILIENCE at MerrickHealth.com. That's code RESILIENCE for 10% off. There's not a, a deficit like if you mix the SLU and the BAM together if you did a everyday type approach. The so the the one in MQ. The uh the five amino one MQ you could do every day. Yep, yeah. yeah. The what you wouldn't want to do is bam and slew in the same capsule at the same time. You're gonna be dissipating a ton of electrons and that will generate excess heat and you're negating the benefits of both of them. One of them's trying to speed you up, the other one's trying to slow you down. And it's like having your car in neutral and <laughs> pushing down the gas all the way. Like yeah. you're going to burn a um, crap ton of gas and you're not going to go anywhere and uh, you're going to ruin your engine, which is How exactly what How far would you what separate happened. those apart? So the, the day apart works, but let's say somebody's training in an evening and then next day in the morning. Like what is just from a, uh, you know, a time fence standpoint? Yeah, so the beauty of it is uh, both of them have a really short half-life. As long as you're doing them um, kind of an every-other-day thing, 
you're not going to run into any problems there. Um, the ideally, uh, you know, 24 hours, but, um, with BAM only having a one hour half-life and being fairly tissue specific and SLU, I think, um, I'd have to look it up. I really don't know off the top of my head, but I think it's six hours. Um, you're, you'd be fine. There should be enough clearance, even if you worked out in the evening and then next day for recovery, took your, uh, took your BAM. Nice. The last thing that, um, and I don't mean to overwhelm people with stuff, but this is just such a cool compound. Um, it's going to protect your kidneys. It's going to protect your heart. If you're APOE4, it crosses the blood brain barrier. So helps with accumulation of, um, harmful byproducts from fat metabolism in the brain. Um, and it's a PPAR gamma agonist, which means it's going to signal your cell to use more fat for an energy. So there's a lot of synergy with the compounds we've talked about. And ready for this, drum roll, telemosartan. That, yep, that makes sense.